If you put as much time into working on winning as you put into thinking about losing, you'd already be a champion. But this is our moment, gentlemen. <clears throat> this right here is our moment, guys. Y'all got to think about that just for a minute, man. This right here, this moment right here, this is our moment to where we make our greatest life a reality. Right here, right now. It all starts in our mind. We've gone through this fight before. We've gone, we've role played this fight before, gentlemen. This is our moment right here. We're facing greatness right now. But some of y'all are scared, I understand though. Some, some of y'all got a little fear built up, man. Y'all think I don't know, but understand this. I, I look at you all week after week after week after week. And y'all used to come in here excited. Y'all used to come in here asking questions, raising your hands, enthusiastic about what you're trying to achieve. You role playing back and forth. And now all of a sudden you're coming in here and you, you're biting your fingernails a little more. Y'all holding your, your chin in your hand a little more. Why is that? I know why. Because see, last April is now this April. We're in it now. See, 30, 30 days from now used to be last May. Right, some of y'all is short. Some of y'all getting ready to get, get out. Some of y'all getting ready to touch down. Some of y'all is five days, 10 days, 30 days, 45, 90 days short. But you're prepared for it, gentlemen. I'm telling y'all, y'all are prepared for it. You done put in your practice. You done put in your preparation. You got your GED. You got your certification. You got your job preparedness training. You've been going back and forth. You've got sheet after sheet after sheet after sheet of your success principles that you need to make your life everything that you want it to be. You're prepared for it, gentlemen, I promise you. I'm preparing you for greatness. I don't come in here having y'all practice for Pop Warner. I don't come in here ready to have you all practice and play against some high school team or some college team. I'm preparing you all week after week to face down Ray Lewis. That's right, the old you that you're gonna face soon as you get out that gate that's gonna try to knock, the, knock your block off, that's gonna try to knock the wind out of you is like Ray Lewis. One of the most menacing and the most devastating defensive players to ever play in the league. I'm preparing you to fight greatness. I'm not preparing you for nothing weak, gentlemen. That's why I come in here enthusiastic every week. And that's why I have you right until your hands hurt. And that's why I hold you accountable week after week after week. Because guess what? That old you is not going to take no for an answer. You got to knock his block off. You got to sit him dead on his line. You got to run straight through him. That's what I prepare you for every week. You don't prepare for victory by practicing to go around Ray Lewis. You prepare for victory by practicing to go through Ray Lewis. Anybody that's new in here, I want you to understand one thing. Every week, I'm preparing you not to go around your challenges. I'm preparing you to go through them. In this moment, right here, right now, gentlemen, this is where you get in the face of greatness. And you sit up here and you tell yourself, nose to nose, that this moment, right here, right now, I will not lose. Not today, not next week, not next month, not next year. Guess what, baby? We get victories over and over and over and over. We're going to make dynasties out of our life, baby. We're not losing. This is our moment right here, right now. You got to understand, I, I'm going to digress this over. Joe Frazier once said, you don't prepare to be great until you fight greatness. Some of y'all, y'all can't get out here and get the best things that you want out of life going after the weakest things, going after stuff that's worthless. You got to go after the greatest things that you can ever think of. Joe Frazier said, look, I'm not preparing for the second best in the world or the third best in the world. I want Ali. You got to prepare for greatness. You go to the top. We don't prepare for this thing by looking at the bottom of the mountain. We prepare for this thing by looking at the summit. Goliath fell and lost his head because of a boy a sling and a smooth rock. He had know-how and he had the desire to win. Gentlemen, I know it's tough and some of y'all are scared, but y'all are prepared for this, gentlemen. Y'all are prepared for this challenge. I know, I know we're going through hell right now, but it's not about going through hell. It's how you come out the other side to show the type of man you are. Some of y'all got grit. Some of y'all got tenacity. Some of y'all got everything that nobody in this world would ever thought you had. But guess what? I know. And I know you're ready to go outside this fence and give it everything you got. But y'all got to do me one favor. One thing. One thing, gentlemen. 
Don't quit. Don't quit on yourself and don't quit on me. I'm telling you, I don't care what you're going through right now. Don't give up. I don't care how dark, how bad, how hopeless you feel your life is right now. Don't quit. We don't have no quit in us. We're cut from a different pedigree, gentlemen. We ready for this. Don't you quit. Don't you give up. I don't care if you've been writing people and you haven't had a correspondence back yet. Don't quit. I don't care if you've been calling people and, and you know, your mom, your dad, your girlfriend, now all of a sudden they don't accept your phone calls. Don't quit on yourself. And when you go for that license and you, you hadn't taken that test and you've been preparing for it, but guess what? You failed the first time. You might fail the second time. Don't quit. We don't have quit in us. You make sure a person cannot call you 